Uh, hello everybody. In this video I just want to introduce you to the web page that I'm going to be creating in my upcoming step-by-step -step series of videos that is uh, geared towards teaching you some basic HTML5 and new CSS3 techniques to build a page well similar to what I have here. Now um, this page well, let's go through exactly kind of the bigger points that the video series is going to cover in building this page and what may be new to you. Uh, the first thing is going to be HTML5 structural and text level elements. Um, looking at the code over here, uh, the first thing you'll notice is that my page is an HTML5 page. And if you've never used HTML5 but have experience uh, coding HTML4 pages, looking down, you should notice that there's some new uh, HTML elements here that are actually pretty semantic. I mean, obviously, look, this it's a header, so you're kind of assuming it's a header. And, and that's the whole point, is that these new semantic elements are better than what we used to do in the past of just basically building our site full of div containers and giving the div containers IDs or classes that were semantic, but uh, the actual div element wasn't as semantic as, say, article or header or section and of course down at the bottom I have um, a footer element and um, to a lesser degree I'll also introduce uh, some HTML5 text level elements although to be honest I think small is the only one that I'll be introducing and I, I don't want to go and describe exactly what these elements mean now you could find you could find that in the series but uh, that's one of the things that we'll be discussing. Uh, the next thing is HTML5 video support in competing formats. Now, this video that you're looking at here is actually an HTML5 video. And it's brought in uh, just by this, let's see, just by this video tag over here. And if you look, there's two different formats. You may most of you will probably be familiar with this MP4 format, or commonly it was uh, QuickTime would use that, although you'd see those potentially with the extension MOV. Um, and then there's this new web format called WebM, which is uh, one of the competing formats to uh, MP4s. Now, there's a whole thing about that. You know, people want the rights for it, royalties, it'll be discussed. And what you actually don't see in this code over here is for browsers that don't support HTML5 video, like Internet Explorer 8, we're going to create a flash fallback. So when the page loads, uh, browsers that don't recognize HTML5 video will just ignore it or not even render it, but they'll see the. Um, the flash video and then we'll and then it'll load that up and actually we'll do that just with a simple um, conditional statement Internet Explorer conditional statement uh, of course one of the things also is some basic responsive design and uh, while this page definitely doesn't illustrate the extent uh, of responsive design the point was to make sure that no matter what dimensions we were at the page rendered close to the same way and uh, what I've done too is I've made sure I've tested this on on uh, my Android phone on my iPad on someone's iPhone and I know that it works right and there'll be uh, just a couple of things we need to do to make sure that they render properly in all browsers so we'll definitely be covering that um, this flying spaceship over here is uh, brought to us by CSS3 animation and you know I'll admit that um, this is a little hokey for uh, a live website, and it's, I guess, a little, a little more distracting than, than than I'd like to for a professional job. But I, I guess the point was I just wanted to illustrate how to use um, basic CSS3 animation, and there's a lot of things going on over here. This thing, you know, if you know basic CSS, the movement over here is just created with. Uh, margins you know margining the thing from left to right and if and if you look back you could see how sometimes it goes in front of the 
debris and so, or, or the broken thing, and sometimes in the back, that's just Z index. So if you have a basic familiar, if you're <laughs> if you have if you're familiar with CSS, um, you'll. Uh, it, all this stuff will kind of start coming together, you know, and you'll realize that there's just new things you could do with the old concepts you've already learned. Um, going on, we have, oh, multiple image backgrounds, and that's where we have all these little space invaders uh, over here to the left, to the right, and then we have more down at the bottom. Well, the way I accomplished this was with uh, multiple CSS backgrounds, so uh, that's a way cool concept that has uh, a lot of worth in uh, a, many different applications. And of course, what I was going to mention too is SVG imagery, scalable vector graphics. And what you're seeing, all the imagery that I have on here, including this uh, big invader and these little guys and, and everything, these are all SVG images, meaning if I were to increase their size, unlike other uh, you know JPEGs and that thing, they always keep their resolution. You know, they're they're just as uh, good. If you see over here, just as crisp, large as they are small. So that's definitely something cool and and. All of these, even this image, was actually just put in. It's embedded with the image tag, uh, IMG, but we just embed an SVG file. Of course, again, not all browsers support SVG, so we do do some backwards compatibility to make sure that our design renders uh, at least functionally and closest to the, uh, to the way aesthetically that we want it to across all browsers. And of course, yeah, the last item I wanted to mention was what I just mentioned, that we'll have progressive enhancements to all these things. Uh, you know, if you're going to add something like CSS3 multiple backgrounds and the browser that you're working with doesn't support it, well, that multiple background then can't, uh, well, I'd rather not seeing that multiple background can affect the message you're trying to convey. And that's really the key to um, progressive enhancements that at the at the most basic uh, level of your document, that has to translate the message you're going after. And my message is just, uh, like I said, my ode to space invaders. As my web page degrades in different browsers, you're not going to, you see this shadow effect, it's a box shadow. That's not going to happen. This, um, this top that I have here that looks all broken like it's been shot by invaders, that's not going to render. Um, there's a couple of things, but uh, my animation isn't going to be working. But ultimately, I'll still have a video that works. I'll have content that's legible, and I'm going to have an image, uh, my portrait. So um, just to make sure that we keep these progressive enhancements uh, in mind while we're building with all these cool new features. So that's what you're in store for. I'm going to name this the, um, what was I going to name it, the Classic Console Game Project. So um, if this video interests you, be sure to check out the rest of the series.